Okay, tour. Tour. You're going on tour with Dylan Scott, which yep. is sick. Yeah. Um, and your first stop, it looks like, is October 12th. Yes, sir. In Knoxville. Shout out Go Vols. I don't know what screen we're looking at. Go Vols. Uh, do you know where you're playing at yet in Knoxville? I do I do not, actually. I, okay. Everyone always asks me, like, the venues that I'm playing in each city, and I'm like, I have no yeah. idea, man. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> just told just to be there. I show, show up, up, and then we just yeah, go yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the venue, actually. Are, are you? Do you know if you're playing at, like, I know you said you don't know the venue, but are, are these around all the college towns, or are they downtown of the cities? Do we know anything um, like that? I, John, you know some of them, don't you? It's all over the place. They're all over the place, man. Yeah, it's couple of college towns mm -hmm. cool all right well cool fucking hey how did this come about with dylan scott that's just the basic it's so question. funny because dylan has has grown to be one of one of the you know closest people i got out here man and and it all started with we had some uh some of our other buddies that are in our group that were that were friends with him and mm -hmm. we just started like trolling each other online man we were because dylan scott made a video about us where he's like we got to like something about grown men like seeing grown men do tiktoks on broadway <laughs> or whatever and um and then so we like we like started like jokingly talking shit back to each yeah. other and all that stuff. And then he made this video of him in the gym to that like Haley Witters like the whiskey and yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah 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 and um and he was like shirtless like doing this funny thing. And then me me and my boys do edit it and we were like yo we got to get these fake country boys out of Nashville man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and so we were just going back and forth for a while. And then he ended up um we ended up hanging out with him. He invited us to uh. To Louisiana for a hunt trip with him, man. Nice. We just started growing our friendship, dude. And he's nice. he's great people, man. And and uh yeah, all of a sudden, you know, they were they were looking for somebody cool for this tour and they brought on me and Matt Schuster and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Our team started talking, got it, got it taken care of. Let's, is here, it your man. first tour? This will be my first tour. Let's yeah. Go. I've, I've played, you know, like these one off shows here and there. Yeah, yeah. But this will be my first tour. So I am nervous as hell. I was gonna say, are any nerves and expectations and maybe an end goal to this tour? Dude, um, there's so many nerves going yeah. through my head, man, you know, because I'm also, everyone's always like, oh, like, I wouldn't think that you would be a nervous person because you're so public, like, mm -hmm. with your life and all. And I'm like, honestly, that's the exact reason as to why I'm nervous because the world is such a cruel, like, mean place, you know what I mean? And Yeah. And uh, I, I came from, I'm coming from this TikTok world, man, and, and I didn't blow up exactly from being an artist and, and all that. So it's, a, it's really hard to earn that respect, you know, yeah. and let alone get people to believe it and all that. But, I mean, we've been doing great. But yeah, just I just get nervous to go out. It means there you and, care, and, dude. Yeah, you know. So, but end goal, man, just to uh, gain gain you know new new music fans, new you know country fans, people yeah. that love love country music because I love country music so much, man, and just yeah. see uh, see what I'm doing and really believe it and trust it and just want to follow put the all your work to the test right there, mm -hmm. maybe in front of new people that might not know you. And I guess that's the thing with touring too, if, or at least opening up for somebody, right? You're just performing to a total new audience. That yeah, and he and also like he, it's um which I'm so blessed to be a part of it, but it, it wasn't like exactly like a little tour to like start out and get my feet wet. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's, he's pulling real numbers and, yeah. and, and we the were crowds. Saying, we were saying two months is a long time. Yeah, to man. Be we got, we got 15 shows together yeah. and yeah. you know, he's doing a couple thousand. So you're going to be sleeping so. on that damn bus or yeah, what? Yeah, dude. We're, right. Well, we get, we're trying to get our own bus right now <laughs> and all <laughs> that so we can, <laughs> figure it out what's, I, what, what, what's the bad talk the bag talking about on this tour dude is that why people go on tour do artists make the most money when they go on tour dude is that it, what's going on what's it, the bag dude? okay so <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you guys man you lose a lot more money than you think in this stuff really? man until you start really making it you know what i mean like mm -hmm. like dylan's making money for sure on this right yeah. but like you know as an opener i'm a first opener and they're they're helping me out a lot more than like i i mean you know, I, I'm putting everything aside. Even though I have this great platform, they're not music fans, man. It's different. You got right. there's you got to understand the process of this. So they're 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 really helping me out. So you know, they give me a budget per show and and all that stuff. But no, nah, it's not nothing crazy. I'm losing a lot more money than I'm making gotcha. on the tour. But that's that's the process, man. Is is putting putting your money and your finances into into your dream and your goal and all that stuff. Yeah. And then once you you know totally. once I start headlining my own stuff and I start doing all that, it'll. It'll really start. I think we've off. even heard that from like, like we're kind of close with Mitchell Tenpenny. We've had him on the pod and he's even talked about, you know, we still have to disperse all this money after the tour to merch guys, production team like that. But I think we also have heard like touring is kind of where the bread's at. So. It is. It is. If you like, for, I, I don't know all the ins and outs of like labels and all that. Like I said, I'm independent. You know, I've heard horror stories. I've heard great stories, you know, but yeah. 
Uh, you know, if you own your tours, then yeah, you make a lot more money. But yeah. like, you usually whenever the labels own it, you don't really make that much. Like, right. But um, as a first opener, are you selling any type of merch or anything? Yeah, yeah. Like so that? I get okay. the, So, so that's one thing that Dylan was really, really cool about. Usually, like whenever you're opening for people, they only let you have like one piece. But he's let me have three. Oh, so, so that's three really different awesome, designs. Man. Are they so all shirts? Or you got a couple hats? I think or what? we're gonna. I think we're gonna do a mix of stuff. So right. it'll be cool. Gotta get um, some. Get some of those hats. Yeah, yeah dude. Now we'll get you. We'll get yeah, you some whenever you come out, man. 